I'm going to start prepping for the baby, start washing everything. As I was folding up the baby clothes and putting them in the bag, he was like really hitting me that we're going to have another baby. Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I actually just finished filming the video that you saw before this one, which was everything that I got from the baby sprinkle. But now I'm going to start prepping for the baby, start washing everything, getting the bassinet over here set up. Maybe I will set up my hospital bag in this video, I don't know, but it does need to get done because I have my 36 week appointment in two days and starting at this appointment, they are gonna start hooking me up to the monitor, checking my contractions, checking the baby's heart rate, all that stuff. Even though the chance of us getting sent to the hospital are very low, I just wanna be prepared that if they do send us down for any reason, that I have my bag, everything for the baby. I know ideally, like if I were to go into labor and I wasn't prepared, the hospital has everything I need and I know that, but it would just be nice for me to feel comfortable and ready for labor and just have all my personal items, all the baby's personal items, and all the little things that I wanna bring for him just already packed up and ready to go. And I mean, I'm almost 36 weeks, so it's probably about time that I do this. So I thought I would bring you guys along for all the prepping and planning. Um, like I said, I'm gonna start with probably washing everything, and then I need to get the newborn diapers out, and I also need to get all of the old clothes from the other boys out all the newborns zero to three all that stuff and put it in the baby's dresser because i have it in a bin in the closet but i just need to pull all the clothes out organize them and probably wash some of them because they've been sitting in a plastic bin for two years so it'd probably be good to give them just a little refresh but yeah i'm excited to finally get stuff ready and prepared for this baby I have all my postpartum stuff ready to go as you guys saw in a recent video so I feel good at the very least if I went into labor I would have all of the stuff for me ready to go so yeah I'm excited let's get prepping get ready for this baby
Okay, it is now the next day and I've been spending the last two days doing all that laundry that I was showing you guys and it's taken a little bit of time because I want to wash everything individually so that the colors don't mix and just that everything stays in the best condition that it can. So I do have a few things washed and I was able to actually pack most of my hospital bag stuff because my next appointment is tomorrow and just in case they send me to the hospital I want to have everything just ready to go just in case I probably won't get sent to the hospital but it just makes me feel better to have all this together so I thought I would go over really quickly you guys saw a little time lapse but this is my little section I am really bringing not that much at all compared to the other two boys but you guys will see it's very very minimalist so i have a nightgown for sleeping because i don't like to wear the hospital ones after the first night so my own comfortable nightgown that buttons up for easy feeding nursing bras um, an outfit option for going home i have some socks here i highly recommend bringing grip socks because i don't like wearing shoes in the hospital room but i also don't like being barefoot and the grips help you not slip on the hospital floor. So bringing some grip socks, and then I do have some regular socks, a different kind of nursing bra, I have two different kinds, shower shoes because the shower is disgusting, and then I do have another shirt over here that didn't fit in that little um, container, but just another option for going home because I have no idea what I'm gonna feel comfortable wearing. And then I plan on bringing sweatpants for the bottoms to go home, but I do need to wash them. So if I do end up going to the hospital tomorrow, I can just wear whatever pants I end up wearing to the hospital and it should be fine. And then I have the baby's cute little section over here. I'm bringing the least amount I have ever brought for a baby because the hospital has diapers, has wipes, has creams and lotions, everything you need. So, and I really hope to only be there one night. So I'm not bringing any of that, I just have the cute stuff. So I have a swaddle for a picture, a ton of different outfit options, just to see what I feel like fits him best. Some pacifiers, because my hospitals never have pacifiers. I feel like I've heard some people say theirs do, but mine is very anti-pacifier, so I kind of go against the rules. And I do give a pacifier in the hospital, but Definitely good to have some of those. And then a sound machine. I did not realize my first time around that the hospital rooms are so quiet, but also so loud. So sound machine is so helpful and I didn't know they didn't provide one. So bringing our favorite, the Hatch sound machine. And then in here, I just have all my toiletries, super boring, toothpaste, toothbrush, shampoo, face wash, just all of your everyday things. Then I have this super cute blanket for the baby, either for going home or for pictures, not sure yet, but I got this one for him and it's just special for me. So I wanted to bring that one. And then as I showed you guys, the super cute diaper bag slash hospital bag. So, and I just tried to fit everything in here and everything fit in there. So that is a win. I just have to like I said, add the sweatpants. Two things that I did not show are a phone charger and the camera that I'm holding right now um, to film, obviously. And then I think Jacob will bring the GoPro because that attaches to the side of the hospital bed for the delivery part of the video. And I'm out of breath because I'm trying to do this fast. I need to go wake up the boys from their nap. And I've been going around like crazy trying to collect everything that I want to bring, but as long as I have these bare essentials, I will feel ready and prepared. And as I was folding up the baby clothes and putting them in the bag, he was like really hitting me that we're going to have another baby. It's just so crazy. And we're going to be bringing him home and he's going to be wearing all these cute little outfits and I'm just so excited to meet him. I'm very ready to be done being pregnant and just hold him. And it's funny the third time around how you're just ready for labor. Like I'm just ready to do it, get it done and have this baby with us. So one more thing checked off the list. I also showed you guys briefly getting the bassinet a little bit more set up. I did wash these sheets in here. So that's all clean and ready to go. I just have to do underneath, but I think I'm gonna do that another day because that stuff can be set up after he's here. So I have hopefully three more weeks to be able to do that and do all the home prep for him. But like I said, if I do go to the hospital tomorrow, I can always set up that stuff when we get home. 
So the hospital stuff, I can't set up after the hospital. So need to make sure all that is ready to go. Today is Friday. I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant and I am finally going to start putting some clothes away in the baby's nursery and get some things ready for baby. So I've got all my postpartum stuff ready, my hospital bag packed. I've been having a lot of contractions and just pain and very uncomfortable. So it's making me think the baby's gonna come early. I hope he doesn't um, and he probably won't. Both my other babies came like at 40 weeks. So he probably won't come early, but I'm having all the pains and 40 weeks is still only four weeks away. So trying to get as much done as we can. So I'm in the nursery today. The boys are taken care of, so I'm able to get some things done, which is really nice. It's a cold, rainy, cozy day. So I've got this whole basket of laundry that I have washed. Some of it is new clothes that I've got for the baby and some of it is clothes from the other two boys that I went through and pulled out. And I feel like most of the newborn clothes that I pulled out looked way too small and I honestly don't think my boys wore newborn clothes because both of them were over nine pounds so they go just straight into zero to three month. So I think I mostly have zero to three in here. I have a few newborn things that maybe he'll wear in like the first week or two, um, but we shall see because I have a feeling this one's gonna be just as big as the other boys. The plan for the nursery is right now we have two rooms for all three boys. So right now Cohen's in this room, Kina is in the other room. I did want them to be sharing a room before the baby got here, but we tried it one night and it was just too stressful. I think Kenai has been going through too many transitions with potty training and then his big boy bed. So just putting Cohen in there with him was too much change. I feel like I'll know when the timing is right on that and it just doesn't feel right yet, but we'll see. They asked to sleep together and then we tried it and it didn't really go well. And hopefully I've been in focus that whole time because I think I was out of focus. But anyway, I'm still decorating this room and putting it together as the nursery because eventually the baby will be in here by himself and the boys will share a room. I don't know if that will be three months from now. I don't know if it'll be six months or a year, but I still wanna make a space that is special for this new baby, even if Cohen is sleeping in here. And I'm sure the baby will sleep in here for naps. I don't know. They're just gonna kind of be miscellaneous rooms, but I did wanna give it a refresh and make it fun for the baby. So. We do have some new things set up in here, new toys and things. So I will do like a full nursery tour and take photos once it's officially done. We don't have too much more to do. Just need to hang up this mirror, put away some just random things and, and I feel like it's pretty much done. I mean, there's nothing that like has to be done before the baby's here. I would like this mirror hung up. I just can't do that myself because I want it to be done correctly since it's over the changing table. I would not want that to fall. It is very heavy. I can barely lift it. So I feel like once the mirror is done, then it's like, okay, this room is done enough to my standards that he could come. So anyways, we're gonna start with this big thing of laundry, going through and putting it in the changing table or dresser, but I'm really excited with how this room's coming together. I'm such a perfectionist that it's not like perfectly perfect to how I would want it and how my Pinterest boards are, but it is, it's very cute. Even still, it's not perfect to my standards. I've definitely been struggling with perfectionism and just trying to make the house perfect for the baby when all it needs to be is a safe, cozy place and he will be fine and it already is safe and cozy and ready for him. So I just need to let go of that and enjoy it. But it's so fun decorating it and making it all cutesy and ready for the baby. But this next step will help me feel a lot more prepared. So well, let's go put the clothes away in the dresser. Thank you. 
Okay, I got this whole drawer done. This is like onesies and one pieces, pants, and then sleepers. So I had to go through the zero to three month bin again. And I pulled out a bunch because all the sleepers I have are zero to three month. So this is another basket of things I need to wash. And then we'll have some more sleepers ready to go. Um, but this is a good amount of clothes to start with. And then up here, I found some newborn diapers that we had still to put those in there. I've got socks back there. And then burp cloths, some hats, nail file, and then just creams and lotions in there. And then the rest of it's pretty much empty. This just has one piece that's a bigger size. Some swimsuits. And then I think this bottom one just has sleep sacks, changing pad more random wipes and things and some diaper genie pin bins so that is the dresser so far but i also washed the covers for the boppy i think is what it's called i never used it once with cohen so i don't think i'm gonna use it again but washed it just in case and i'll put that in my room just in case i use it and then also the snuggle me covers i washed and that feels like a good start so next i just need to put some diapers and wipes and extra clothes in the bassinet in our room for night changings and night feedings. So getting that bassinet set up is next on the list. few days later and I have been doing laundry I've been gathering all the newborn items and I've also been resting because I think I forgot to update you guys on my 35 week appointment which was Wednesday today is Sunday but starting at 35 weeks since I am high risk they are monitoring me on the um like fetal monitor so they're doing like a non-stress test at every appointment so they did that that cleared and baby was doing great and responding well. She was asking if I was having contractions and I definitely feel like I have been. As I've mentioned, this baby is measuring bigger and we don't know when he's gonna come. So with the contractions and not being full term, which is 37 weeks, she said, just take this next week to rest. Don't let the baby come until you're 37 weeks. And then once you're 37 weeks, baby can come whenever and you can do whatever. So so basically she was like, try to get help with your other kids and try and do nothing and rest and wait until 37 weeks. Then when you're 37 weeks, do whatever and baby can come. So been really trying to rest. Jacob and both our moms have been so helpful this week. Today is Sunday and I'll be 37 weeks on Thursday. So we still have a few more days to go until I'm full term. She said if the baby came before then, like he's big enough and he would be fine, but just for safety precautions and for the health of the baby, we're trying to wait till 37 weeks. But both my babies came at 40 weeks or after, so I don't think this baby would come early, but I've definitely been having a lot of contractions, a lot of pain, and you cannot predict when a baby is gonna come. So just trying to rest and not do anything too strenuous that would put me into labor so that was kind of the update for my i was technically 35 weeks but i turned 36 weeks the day after that appointment um and i'm 36 weeks now so with that update jacob like i said has been doing so much around the house he took the boys out yesterday for an outing so i could just rest and not worry about them and they could get out and do something and then he's also out with them right now they're just going to different stores and driving around so they're having so much fun and it's great that he gets some one-on-one -on -one time with both of them with that being said i just set up the bassinet in our room so i will show you guys what i have put in that so this is the setup i have next to our bed this is the bassinet we've used with both the other boys and i did clean the sheet inside i think i mentioned that and then this snuggle me is in here for now keen i slept in this as a newborn i know you're not technically supposed to but he was totally safe and fine we were watching him throughout the night but cohen actually never 
liked using it. So we'll see if this baby even enjoys laying in it and sleeping in it. And then under here, I put together this little diaper caddy, which will probably be on my nightstand um, once he is here and not in underneath. But it's got some newborn diapers, some burp cloths, my haka. It has some cream in here. I've got some gauze pads and then wipes. So just basically everything I need in the nighttime. And then in this little container, I have all of the pumping items and things. I have the LV pump, which I used a few times with Cohen, but then I ended up just using the hand pump but I need to get some new containers for it because all of ours were disgusting. So I need to order those. And then I also got these with Cohen, but I never used them. So I want to try to use them. It just catches the extra milk on the other side. So have that if I want to try to use that. Some nursing pads. And then I have an extra sheet for the crib in here as well. And all the extra um, LV parts. And then I'm also charging the LV over here because I'm assuming that needs to be charged since it hasn't been used in like two years. And then I've got a bunch of extra diapers in here because you go through newborn diapers very quickly. But as I was doing this, I realized I need to grab some swaddles and sleep sacks. I have the Dreamland baby one here that I want to try with him. And then I also need to grab the... I want to call it a snuggle me, but it's not called the snuggle me. I'm gonna go find all of the swaddles and maybe I should put some extra newborn clothes in here as well now that I'm thinking about it because you can't have blowouts in the night and that's not fun. So I'm gonna go find the swaddles and some clothes. 